Hey everyone, my name is Erica and today we are going to be going to one of my favorite places in the world, Byron Bay. I live up in Brisbane so we're going to be driving down and I'm going to share where we end up going, what we end up doing, and where we end up eating. And if you find this helpful at all, please drop it a like, comment, and subscribe. That means the absolute world to me and let's get going. So on our way down, we made a stop at Love Child Kitchen and Bar. It is this amazing vegan restaurant down in Mermaid Beach. I definitely recommend it if you're in the area. I had this super crispy and delicious vegan burger. It was so good. And then we hit the road again and went on this stunning drive. The drive is so beautiful down this way. And then we made our way through the main town and made it to our beautiful Airbnb. So we've just gotten to the Airbnb and I'm gonna give you a quick tour. So if you come with me into the bedroom here. So it's this nice open plan space with the floor to ceiling window and it just lets so much light in. It's such a pretty relaxing space. I love how it's decorated. And then if you come with me this way, it leads out to a balcony over the pool. So now that we've seen the bedroom, let's see the rest of the place. It's still small, but it's perfect for a weekend away. Kind of a step up from like your hotel room. So in here is just kind of like a little kitchenette. There was this fridge here, which had some complimentary drinks and a coffee machine and then some storage for our clothes as well. I really like how they put up the clothing racks with the rope. I just think it looks really pretty. Just kind of like the beach design in Byron is always so stunning. And then if we move back here, we have these two doors to the bathroom, so they kind of meet in the middle. And then in through here is the bathroom. So we have this sink with a really pretty archway mirror, which I just love anything with an arch. I don't know why, I just think that it's so pretty. And this stunning countertop, I'm honestly gonna use this area as so much inspiration, really. And then if we move through here, this is the best part of the bathroom. So there's this rain fall shower, and then there's the handheld shower as well. And then if you go here, there is the floating tub, and then if you pan up, there's even a skylight. I can't wait to see what this looks like around sunset and sunrise. I think it's gonna be stunning. So for dinner, we headed to the Mez Club. This is a Greek restaurant down here in Byron, and we decided to get the kingfish and also some bread and dips and a wonderful cocktail as well. And then we headed down to the Twilight Markets, which we didn't realize were on, so this was quite a treat. There were so many different stalls with so many different items, but we didn't end up grabbing anything, so we decided that we would head into town. And on the way, we saw this insane flock of bats. There was thousands of them. This clip is like 10 minutes long, but I didn't include it all. It was so crazy and we wanted to head in to see if we would get a glimpse of the sunset and we did we were so lucky to see it it was beautiful and then we went back down the main street this street is always bustling with so much live entertainment it's honestly just so wonderful and we even saw this along the way which i thought was super funny and then we went to a couple of different bars to enjoy some cocktails for the rest of the night So we've woken up here in Byron Bay. We got here pretty late yesterday, so we really only able to go get dinner. Um, but this morning we're gonna try to get a little bit of an earlier start and we're going to go get just some easy breakfast and then we're gonna head down to the beach and do some shopping. And I'm hoping that we can go to a market as well. So we'll take you along for all of that. And yeah, we'll see what we find along the way. So we started off the day at Byron Corner Store for a little bit of breakfast. I grabbed an iced coffee and a smoothie bowl before heading off to do a tiny bit of shopping, but we wanted to try to get in early uh, to go to the beach because the weather was absolutely phenomenal this day. Um, sadly though, our efforts were a little bit lost. We weren't able to get a car park down here at Watego's Beach. This is usually our favorite spot to go to, but it was absolutely packed. And there you can see the little lighthouse. If it's your first time in Byron, you must go. We headed to Main Beach and just chilled out there for the day. It was so stunning, perfect weather. So for lunch, we headed to Miss Margarita, which is a Mexican restaurant that is near the beach on the main street in Byron. I had a wonderful coconut margarita, which was perfect for the warm weather. And we decided that after lunch, we were gonna skip the beach and head out to Bangalore for the markets. This drive is so stunning. I've been around to some other smaller towns behind Byron as well, and they are so beautiful and they are just so charming. I love this area. Um, it's just 
so so stunning we wanted to check out these markets and when i tell you that we were blown away at the size of these markets we were not expecting this whatsoever and i wish that we made it earlier there was so much cool stuff here and we missed a little bit of it but we did see some cool things like this little orange truck which reminded me of the banana stand from arrested development but anyway we saw a whole bunch of other things and decided to get one of these fruit pops, which was so nice and fresh. And then we decided that we were going to head back to the beach that was near our Airbnb because we expected it to be a lot more quiet now that it was afternoon. And we were right, so we decided that we were going to chill out on the sand before heading to dinner. So for dinner, we headed to No Bones, which is a vegan restaurant in Byron, and we caught the most beautiful sunset. The food here was delicious. We had these mac and cheese bites that were absolutely to die for. We were pretty tired, so we headed home early and just watched a movie. So sadly, it is already our last day here in Byron. We're going to start by going to Suffolk Park Bakery for breakfast. I've been there before and it was great, so hopefully it keeps living up to that expectation. Then we're gonna do a tiny bit more shopping down at the main beach before we head off to the Crystal Castle. I've been there before and it's so cool, so I will take you all around there. And after that, I'm not too sure what we're going to do, but let's get going. Starting the day at Suffolk Bakery, they have such an amazing selection here and we ended up going with a chocolate croissant and then also a donut and then we hit the road out of Byron to make it to the Crystal Castle. It was sad to leave, um, but we'll be back. So we arrived at the Crystal Castle and paid admission, which was quite a bit more pricey than I had recalled it being, but nevertheless, I'd still say it's worth it at this point. This stuff there is so, so just amazing. Just how many millions of years, how much pressure it takes for these things to form. I just think that they're such marvels and they are just stunning to look at. And also the site that it's at is just a beautiful part of the world. They have so many fantastic gardens and also just an amazing range of crystals here to just look at all day and take in. They have a little gift shop, which I would say is super fun. I grabbed a couple things myself and then we headed home. So that wraps up everything. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions about Byron, please just leave them in the comments below. I've been there so many times and I'd be happy to help where I can. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe and share it with people that you know if they're going to Byron. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.